Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lex and I am the owner of plantlifelex.com, which is my online houseplant store. This week's video is going to be a small business vlog where I take you guys behind the scenes of my week of me running my plant store. So far for the month of December, it's been very hectic. I am in the process of prepping the shop for the holidays. And also this week is the last week that I'll be shipping plants out for the month of December. There is just a lot of shipping delays going on and I don't want anyone's plants to get stuck in the mail. So this week I need to make sure that the shop is completely updated with all of our inventory so that if anyone wants to buy a plant and have it the same week they can get it anyone that orders a plant after this week they will have to wait until after the holidays just because of how bad the delays are so in this video you guys will see me updating the shop with new items updating some current items like taking new photos of inventory packing your orders like we always do and we'll also have some plant chores for the shop so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started with this week hey guys so I'm just watering all of the shop plants right now I'm using my sprayer like I always do and I water the shop plants about once or twice a week just depending on how dry they're looking and everything like that in the last vlog you guys saw that I reorganized this greenhouse for the shop and I'm really liking how it is now I like how I have a lot more space um, and I cleaned up the floor and everything like that so there's no plants on the floor and this is just like easier for me overall now I can see everything and I can fit like more plants like on the shelves and since then we did sell a few plants so it's not as full as it was but we still have a good amount of plants on the shop Sometimes these plants dry out really fast in here because it's not humid at all. This greenhouse is just basically sitting in room temperature, like room humidity and everything like that. So it doesn't like reach that high of humidity levels unless I put the humidifier on. And I kind of be forgetting to put the humidifier on. I'll put it on like here and there, but it's like so hard to remember to like do it all the time. I don't know why it's so difficult, but I am fertilizing as well. So I have the Dynagro liquid fertilizer in the water as well. Overall, I just feel like a liquid fertilizer is just the easiest for me. Just being able to just pour it in the water and stir it up. I find like it's just easier that way instead of like, like slow release fertilizer. I don't know. I don't use slow release fertilizer in my mix at all. I'm definitely going to turn the humidifier on today though. I'm noticing a lot of the plant's leaves are like getting stuck and it's probably from low humidity. But I kind of like having the shop plants in um, lesser humidity because not everybody has a high humidity environment at home. So if they're doing well here in room temperature and like room humidity, then they're going to do fine for anybody. And I realize I do have a few plants in here that actually aren't on the shop at all. So today I have to go through them and figure out which ones they are. Um, for instance, like these gloriouses back here. I thought I had only three of them, but apparently I have four and I didn't know that. So I'm going to put the fourth one on the shop as well. I'll do that sometime today. And I have a few alocasia jacklins that need to be put on the shop because I only have one up there. And then I have to check on like the propagation little section that I have, like all the tiny plants and stuff like that too. So over here we have the alocasias and some other like random plants. Um, I've got these really big alocasias this time around for the shop. They've grown so much and you guys know I'm not the best with alocasia so like I try to not get them for the shop but I know everybody likes the Jacqueline so I just try my best with alocasias. I don't know I just like I find them really difficult sometimes and it might be because I don't give them enough water that might be it um, but I always get nervous that they're just gonna like drop all their leaves before the time they sell. So right now they're all down to like two leaves, <laughs> which they already were, so that's okay. But I'm afraid that they're gonna drop down to one leaf. You can kind of see here, this alocasia cupria is like dropping. And I think it's because I haven't watered it. So I'm gonna see what it does. And if I have to, I'll have to just discount it or something. 
but yeah i need to get better with them since it's like holiday season there's like a lot of like delays with the mail because obviously everybody's trying to ship out their christmas gifts and make sure people get their gifts by christmas and when it comes to like shipping delays there's like nothing that i can do there's nothing you can do it's going to get there when it gets there and that's just really it so now i'm just moving to the top here we have like a lot of the trailing plants up here so like USPS is gonna be like slammed in the next few weeks leading up to Christmas. So I've decided that the last day to ship plant orders is going to be December 13th. And then any order that comes in after that is going to be shipped after the holidays on January 3rd. And the reason for that is because obviously we don't want your plant to die in the mail from getting stuck in a delay because I'm 100% sure that it's gonna be delayed. So yeah, that's just something that I have to do. So if you're looking to like snag a plant like now, um, you can, and then we'll ship it when the holidays are over. I was talking to the person at USPS. Um, I have a good relationship with them there. But I was just asking him like, oh, like what's a good day I should stop? He said, yeah, don't ship anything past the 13th if you're shipping the plants because he's like, there's probably gonna be a delay. So yeah, I obviously trust them more <laughs> than my own judgment and we don't want your plants to die. So you're gonna have to just be patient um, and then we'll ship them after the holidays, not a big deal. And if you have a non-plant order, we're gonna continue to ship those out every day as we normally do because obviously there's no plants in there. Uh, it might still get delayed, it might not, but at least we know that there's nothing living in the packages, you know? So if you wanna order things like pots or moss poles or soil mixes and stuff like that, we'll continue to ship those out, no problem. It's just the plants. We don't want them getting stuck in the mail for days. So, you know, it's just something that we have to do around this time of the year, just due to the nature of what I'm selling. So, hope you guys understand. We're only doing it for everyone's benefit, you know? So I recently bought a new sprayer. Uh, I'm waiting for it to get delivered, but I bought another two gallon one because I have the one gallon and I do have a two gallon. And this one that I'm using right now is a two gallon. I just ran out of the one gallon. But this brand that I'm using, this one, the pressure is obviously not as strong as the other one. And I so I really like the pressure of the other one, but it's just small, so it runs out. But the thing is, is that I like this sprayer specifically because there's a function where you can just do it like hands free. So like this is like where you like push it to like spray it, but it has this function where you can slide it up and it'll lock it in place. So you don't have to like squeeze it the whole time because man, it makes my freaking hands hurt so bad. So I just finished watering everything in here. So I'm just gonna let them drain out in their bins. I didn't water the big plants at the top because I recently watered them earlier this week anyway, so they don't need to be watered. The shop plants are now watered and fertilized, so they are good to go. Good morning, everyone. I'm in the greenhouse right now because I'm picking out plants that either aren't listed on the website yet or plants that just need updated photos. So I do have a few plants in front of me that do need some updated photos to accommodate their new leaves and stuff like that so i'm going to get pictures of these guys and update some existing photos and add on some new listings since it is holiday season there is going to be delays with usps ups whoever and to avoid your plants getting stuck in the mail from the christmas delays i'm using only this coming week as the last shipment day for plants and then we will be continuing to ship plants again january 3rd if if you ordered something this week, it'll get shipped out this week. If you order something in the next two weeks, it won't get shipped out until January 3rd. Hi guys, so right now I am in the process of packing the order. We do have a few orders here, so I'm going to pick out the plants now. The first order is from Diane from California. Diane ordered a Syngonium Wenlani, number one. 
this is the Syngonia. And they also ordered a four pack of clear moth poles and two five inch round pots. The next order is for Anna in North Carolina. They ordered the Ring of Fire number two, which is this one right here. And they also ordered three two pound bags of our pond mix and a 40 hour heat pack. The next order is from Leslie in California. They ordered this Monstera Albo one leaf in the six inch pot. And they also ordered a 72 hour heat pack. And then our last order is from Jamon in Georgia. Jamon is from YouTube. Hi Jamon, thank you so much for making the order with me. I'm so excited to pack it. He ordered a Philodendron Glorious. He ordered the number two. And this is it right here. And he also ordered a 72 hour heat pack and three five inch plant pots. So now I'm going to go to my little packing station and pack all the orders up. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. This is our shipping day, so I have to finish packing up all the orders from last night that we packed up. The reason I wait until the next day is because some orders have a heat pack and I don't like to activate the heat pack until the day that I'm shipping it. So I'm going to activate all the heat packs and finish boxing up the plants now. Good morning everybody. It is Tuesday morning and we actually did get one more order yesterday on Monday. So I'm going to be packing that up this morning and getting it shipped out so that they can have it by the end of the week. This order is for Alicia or Alicia. I hope that I'm pronouncing your name right, but this is a special order because it's their birthday. They got the Ring of Fire number one that looks like this. It has beautiful variegation. So I'm going to pack that up for them now. 